Welcome back to Perfect Match, Chapter 5 of Book Number 2. Alright, here we go. After checking into your hotel, you and your friend stroll down the streets of San Francisco. A saxophonist plays in bright daylight, and a group of tourists pose for pictures in front of the passing cable cars. Yep, that's what it is, dude. Yeah. So, do we know anything else about Brett Devereaux that may be helpful for the party? You mean our very own con? We're sure that he'll be there, right? Uh, Blue Fire's video game launch is one of the biggest formal events in the industry this year. He'll show, even if it's just to please his boss. Then what's our plan for the night? Please, with our combined charm and wit, how can Khan say no? I claim wit. <laughs> well, then I claim charm. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't think wit and charm constitutes an actual plan. Khan's project, Everlast, is one of the most anticipated VR games of the year. Then we should definitely check it out. Remember, even though we're not busting through gates or hiding from guards, we should still be vigilant. Good point, Damien. Yeah. Now let's go meet Sloane's idol. Yeah. The game alone. Blending in? Getting Khan to help us? How hard could that be? Now y'all say that every time! I know. Every single time! I have it's, it's positivity. You know. I try. I try. <sighs> Which reminds me... Sloan takes out a clump of badges and hands one to each of you. I can't press badge. It don't do nothing. <laughs> it don't it say press, but I can't... Uh, is it say what? <laughs> We're going undercover as journalists for a trendy lifestyle magazine called Cultural Content. Nadia made these for us before she went off with Steve to sightsee. They've been dying for some private date time, and I think we could all use a break from Nadiv. That's mean. That's kind of mean for me to say. Just saying. Uh, you know, I just, I don't have a basement, like I told you. <laughs> I, I don't have the cave. I don't have the man cave. <laughs> you know, he's got, you know, his, his booklet. I've got my pamphlet. You know, he's got things together. But, you know, when you're going from one city to the other, you, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> she had like a special kind of thin mint cookie that she needed to have. And, yeah. Wait, what, what happened with the thin mint cookie? There was like, like... You gotta have, like, those Girl Scout Thin Mints. Yeah. But, like, she likes to have them with, like, milk, which is just wow. Uh-huh. And so, like, that's that's her, like, comfort food whenever, like, somebody's stepping up to her and, uh -huh. like, acts weird. And then Steve has to, like... Go find the Girl Scout cookies? Yeah, he's gotta go out and get the cookies. That's what it is. Well, Otherwise, it's... they're not... Isn't there, like, a Girl Scout season? It's... Well, yeah, but, like, in Japan, it's, like... Oh, they're everywhere? Yeah, I mean, you can't oh, really okay. just get, you know. You so can or you can't? You can't really get Girl Scout cookies in Japan. I mean, you have to go to, like, a special store like Jusco. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Huh. Tokyo might have them, but it's just, it's not really that much. Oh, so that must have been really rough for her in Japan. Things were, things were, uh, not always fun. I get you. I, I understand. So a break would be welcome for all. Yeah. That is how I'm going to put well, that. Well, Steve's not really getting a break, but I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, they take bubble baths together. That's a break. That counts. I, I mean, that... It, <laughs> I had to wait in the... I had to wait an hour to shower. They, they get what they paid for. I, I gotta say, like, when we started talking about Steve and Nadia, I was expecting him to say something. You know, because he does that all the time. But I guess they really are sightseeing. Yeah, they must be really out there someplace. Yeah. 
you can hear a faint call in the natural habitat of the <laughs> Stevis Creepius. <laughs> oh, Stevis Creepius. All right, I'm being mean. I'm being mean. <laughs> Wait, do you think that they're going to... What's, what's the prison in San Francisco? Do you think they're going to go visit that after what we went through with Eros? I think that'll be the last thing on their mind is to go to is to go to Alcatraz. Alcatraz! Okay. Yeah, they're not going there. <laughs> the perks of sharing a single bathroom hotel suite. So he's sharing it with Hayden? I'm very confused. I re- you know, I have no idea how it's working. <laughs> I, I don't really get it. <laughs> like every time they go somewhere it's just a group of them and there's one bed and they never show any kind of material like about how they it's it's minutiae but it's weird I don't know how it works anyway they have explosive lovebird energy especially because Nadia is so loud oh my god let's continue I think it's yeah Ew. now since the three of us are dressed for the party we have one more stop before our grand entrance that with a French accent. Oh, would you look at that? I sh- yeah, ha, huh, let's see what we got. Okay, we swerve this place into has the a thing. Bunch of dresses. I don't know why we're here. I think it's because somebody's got all the diamonds and that's what we're going to do. But why are there dresses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's find something Wait, nice. Wait, are we for- buying hot dude a dress? Okay, this mission is uh is uh, over. Is that like a thing? The, the, the day I wear a dress, Con Eros likes? is won. That's it. <laughs> Maybe Khan likes hot dudes and dresses. Oh, God. No, we're done. Well, let's see what there is. Let's find something nice for you to wear, too, hot dude. First impressions are key at these types of events. The more people willing to talk to us, the more we can learn about Khan. Okay, this is that, like, the, it's, it's just like Tokyo. You guys are all ganging up on me, talking about, oh, you need to wear something else. Is this something you want to tell me, guys? Like, for real. <laughs> like, is there, I mean, my birthday's coming up in like a month. Could, you could just get me like a gift certificate. <laughs> I, I could go to like Marshalls or something. Marshalls? Like, why, why, why does it have to be every place we go? <laughs> all of a sudden, my wardrobe isn't good enough. <laughs> you know, I wore like three different kinds of suits. <laughs> like, literally a month ago. But let's see. Uh, oh, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> and they won't let you wear anything else. Oh, they did! You did it! How did you do that? Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. How did you do No, don't go back! I don't want... Wait, wait, wait. Get a different outfit! All right, let's no, see. No, no. They have the last season. Go to last oh, season. Oh! That's how you do it. Then you go <laughs> How did you get in there? It was a, it was a little, 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 little... And it ha- worked! The little hanger thing, yeah. All right, well... But they take it away from you when well, you're done. Once they and you do have the diamonds. You, you have to do it they, before the diamonds. These yeah, suckers, Forget about boy. the info. We'll get the info later. So now you get to pick one of the ones info. you already own. Like, oh, you about that. Yeah, 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 VIP yeah. Room. yeah, just pick what you want to wear. Whatever you want to wear. The smooth cribbit. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. There you go. Select it. You, you were really quick in your choice. Tcha. <laughs> All done. So we'll pretend like we bought this and we'll ignore all the other stuff they said. Oh, would you look at that? They've got a Yay, code. Yay, they have VIP. I tell you, they got desserts. They oh, delicious. Dessert. Oh, wow. What's the dress code? Oh, uh, me. That's the code. All right. Yeah, you look better than anybody. Thank you. Romance. Think popping red love heart. Oh, red tie. Perfect. See that? Red tie. You two have a nice tie. I'm not saying anything, Hayden. I'm not saying anything. I've <laughs> moved on. <laughs> Look you gave me! I saw that look. If one of you starts popping cheesy catchphrases... Love is in the air. What did I just say? (laughs) Guys, I haven't just found the perfect thing. I am the perfect thing. I am the perfect thing! (laughs) This outfit will unlock romantic scenes in the VIP area. I think we're not doing... What is this mess? No, your suit looks better than yeah. that. Yeah, somewhere beyond the sea. No thanks. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Did it not... Oh. Did it not, as one says... Oh, I, I'm not going to say that because Hayden's going to get pissed at me. <coughs> I'm just going to say, did you not like the outfit? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, that, I don't think that's what that means. 
perfect use of the term Sloan. Yeah. Thank you for not saying it. I try. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Well, then we should get going if we don't want to be late. You step into a room with blazing pink decor and buzzing energy. It's filled to the brim with reporters, guests, friends, and families. That's a, a little too pink. That's but a lot the of food. Fruit. Looks good. That's th this is this is fruit buffet going on. Yeah, that looks really super nice. Is that a chocolate fountain? Look at all the balloons. Well, they really went all out with the love theme. Nadia would have a field day. The one day that she would, you know, be not present at something that we need help with. I know. And she's, yeah. She would have loved it. It kind of sucks. <laughs> All the pink's giving me a headache. I need a drink. Hold on. Priorities, please. Uh, hot, hot, dude. H how long you know me? Uh, Forever. Yeah, four forever. Years. Yeah, four years. Oh, four years. Yeah, four, four years. years. Yeah. Nadia's not here to do the other part. <laughs> Booze is always a priority, especially when mingling's involved. I'll go get you some. We should spread out so we can find Con faster. Rendezvous by the game booth in half an hour. Operation Missing Man is a go. Who are these two weirdos? Yeah. That's gotta be. I, I don't mean it like that. But I just, they're just. Who, what is this? I don't know. I, I don't. You gotta pick one, and we'll let's see what it says. What's the eeny meeny miny no? I don't know. Just pick one. It don't matter. Super fan. Okay. You know the voice I'm going to use. No, then we're using this one over here. Then we, we gotta talk to both of them anyway. Oh God, no. We're doing <laughs> this one first. <laughs> I'll let you warm up to the other one. You approach one of the blue fire employees who's just finished chatting with a group of interviewers. Hey, uh, Joey Jones from Cultural Content. Can I have a moment of your time? Of course. Mindy Wales, Blue Fire's creative director. Thank you for coming. Ew. Thank you for having us. The place is a full house. So congratulations are in order. What's it like working for such a progressive and tight-knit company? Working alongside bright minds with a killer sense of humor, it's a dream come true, baby. <laughs> bright minds such as Mr. Devereaux? Always ready with a dad joke and a bottle of kombucha. That one... And please, call him Brett, or he'll bolt before you even spell your name. That's a weird, weird dialogue. Noted. I'd love to be introduced. Easy peasy. Oof. It was near impossible getting him to come today, but I guess something changed his mind. He should be here soon. One of Mindy's ecstatic friends suddenly arrives, squealing and dragging her away. Mindy smiles apologetically. Hope your article goes well, Joey. There's also a dance floor in the corner, so be sure to check it out. Thanks again. Uh, the choices. Let's see, uh, this one or this one. <laughs> you approach a jittery-looking girl who's clutching two massive blue fire posters. Hey. Big fan? Ha <laughs> The biggest! I've been hyperventilating for like a solid minute! Ha <laughs> ha! It comes and goes! Oh, God, no. <laughs> hey, uh, Mindy, uh, Mindy, could you come back? Uh, please? Oh, God, no. Uh, are, are you okay? Like, do, do you need a, a drink or something? Or like a, a Xanax? Uh -huh. or... I'm good. But in case I do pass out, would you mind getting the poster signed by Brett? Uh, sure. Uh, although, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Brett's actually the reason I'm here, too. Uh -huh. He is so hot! Like, 
like, the modeling industry is a disgrace for not hiring him. <laughs> Did you know that Brett used to work for another dating sim company? <laughs> At least that's what the mirror reveals turned out on the interwebs. <laughs> oh, this is, this is, oh man. Oh man. The, the, the subs will be rolling in. I just, I, I know it now. It's a gold mine. It's what we struck here. <laughs> know any other fun facts about him? Duh! You're standing before the BDIC. Brett Devereaux. Ha ha! Information Central. Ha ha! Wow, you got a card for that too, probably, I'm guessing. <laughs> I've been chatting up his colleagues, and my three fave trivia facts are... She shoves her posters at you so she can tick off her fingers as she speaks. One! Ooh. He's super into vinyasa yoga, a sucker for organic pressed juices, and loves making homemade ones to bring for his co-workers. That was two. Yep. That was two. That was what that was. He He's also a night owl and a total sweetheart. He's known to take home someone else's half-finished impossible assignment and help fix it by the morning. <laughs> it's like, how do you find the time to do all that and still nurture a flawless man bun? Oh. <laughs> I have, okay, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. <laughs> I have nothing against, no, I'm lying. I, I will respect your choice for the man bun. I will respect it, okay? I'm new. I've only seen it the last three or four years, so I, I'm new. But I'm telling you right now. I've only seen it for the past one year. Yeah. But go ahead. Oh, goodness. I just would like to know how that works for you. How, did, how Why Why does that work? I don't know. I, I don't... I can't... Think back to when we were kids in the 80s. Can you imagine a young... 14-year-old young man walking around with the bun. Well. <laughs> I'm I'm asking how that would help with the ladies. Well, can I just say, uh, I was just working at a school. And it's not just a man bun, but it's also a teenager bun. Um, They're everywhere. The, See, the high schoolers have them too. I, I'm fine with that, except <laughs> you go back in time... And no, we know we exactly no, we what would happen. That. We that, would, that. that would have been beaten disaster up. for yeah. everyone beaten involved. Up, beaten so up. what, how did that change? How? What happened? I don't know, but now it's cool. It's just all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. If we could just possibly help, get, just help, help us. <laughs> help us, please. <laughs> Looks like all your mingling's paid off then. <laughs> you cautiously return her precious... Rolled up posters. I need to do another lap around the room, but good luck with posters. Thanks! Oh, don't forget to play Everlast! I don't know. Bye! It's this Bye. other, it's this other new oh, thing. Oh, the crystal voice! Yeah. Bye! Yeah, straight straight up from... I wish I could do the crystal voice. No. Because that would have been really good crystal. for her. Okay, we're helping people. <laughs> crystal from the... The, the, the Bachelor. Yeah, wait. Well, oh, God. Yeah. Just, 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 that's all you need to do. Just Google it. <laughs> you glance at guests enjoying themselves on the dance floor. Hmm. Who am I going to dance with? Oh, I gee. Wonder. Such a hard choice. There you go. <laughs> you catch Hayden's eye among the crowd and wave her over. Of course. Want to come to the dance floor with me? Hell uh, yeah. You had to ask? Nope. It's nice of you to ask, though. I appreciate that, especially in this day and age. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> you take Hayden's hand and squeeze in amongst the sea of people. The music thumps loudly in your head, <laughs> making you sway freely to the rhythm. Show me what you got, hot dude park. You playfully trace your finger across her shoulder while rocking your hips from side to side. Hayden raises her eyebrow. Uh-huh. We're dancing like that, are we? I like Hayden. Not up for the challenge? Hayden holds your waist and immediately presses you flush oh, against Oh, damn! Her. She grinds her body against yours, eyes igniting with mischief. Uh-oh. 
that good enough? You dance against her, hands trailing from her back to her neck into her hair. Not even close. Uh oh. Hayden <laughs> grazes her lips down your exposed neck and you close your eyes, savoring the feeling. Aww. Do you think these people are watching us? Yup. So, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Why? Hayden gently moves a strand of damp hair from your face, breath heavy. Because I really want to kiss you. Aww. <laughs> uh, actually, you know, no! I just think that you really like, kiss you know, her, public her. displays of affection are really not the other thing. <laughs> Hayden grins before she kisses you fiercely. <laughs> Between the dancing and Hayden's lips claiming yours without hesitation, you have to draw back to catch your breath. Aww. That was... Uh, Hold that thought. Hayden kisses you again. Her hand smoothly caresses the lines of your body, but her mouth moves with fierce urgency. Damn, girl! That was wow. Okay. A wall. <laughs> Hayden pulls you close and you continue to sway to the music as one. Aww. After a few minutes of dancing, you return to the game booth area and meet up with the others. The demo for Everlast. And there's Somehow, no line. I don't know why. You know, every time we, like, are about to do something that's, like, really important, <laughs> and we expect, like, a really big problem, like, no one's around. I know, what is that? And then there's immediately a problem. I know. It's weird. So I'm waiting for the problem. <laughs> uh, I'm not even, I'm just going to call this. I'm expecting multiple problems. We'll see how it goes. Let's see how this goes, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, the premise is that you're trapped in a time travel loop with your soulmate and have to keep finding each other. The gameplay is supposed to be very innovative and ahead of its time. And... Free Sloan. This is an incredible opportunity, you guys. We have to try it out. It does look pretty fun. Well, I don't know much about VR, but... It would help us blend in. We might look a little less suspicious if we get involved. Yes, blending in. That's a great point, too. Here, we can watch the trailer. Really? Okay. Oh, I gotta come up with a new voice. Damn it. A preview of the game flashes brightly on the screen. Let's see what we do. Embark. On an epic romance that defies time itself. Oh. We ain't got much time before we get pulled into another <laughs> loop. I can feel it. Wow, this this is like <laughs> like southern. <laughs> <laughs> Deep South England. <laughs> Delve into in. I'm sorry. Delve into different worlds and times to break the curse. There's something here that is vital for our chance at a future together. At least I didn't do the West Petersburg, St. Petersburg yeah, that, boys. That could have been really annoying. This is Everlast. Yay. Come find me wherever time takes us next, my love. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> yeah. Sloane grins at you hopefully as the trailer ends. Please. We already said yes. We're doing it. What do you say, hot dude? Oh, I didn't say yes. This is your chance to explore a lot of things and waste a bunch of time while something bad happens behind you. Yeah, I know. What do you do? Oh, he's in his suit. You play Everlast in your hot suit. <laughs> That's right. That's what you do. Let's do it. Eee. 
four of you enter the demo area, and attendants hand you headsets. Sweet. But they are. Put it on! You enter the game world. You have now entered uh, the portal. The love of your life is out there, somewhere. You must travel through time to find the, them, but both of her, him, all of all of them. <laughs> Only then will you have the chance to break the curse that will separate you once and for all. You come to stand in the middle of a field where a medieval tourney is being held. A crowd waits in the stands. Behind the barrier, the game's love interest sits in an elegant throne with a canopy. Thank you all for coming. Once I had a great love, but they were taken from me. That's a shame. For some time I have searched for the, a genuine connection like that. I could be that, madam. I could be that, that, that someone. Yeah, I, I can do a card trick. I'd like to see a card trick. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, here you go. Wow, they spared no expense. They even have, like, individual AI going yeah. like <laughs> What's this your card, madam? Uh, no. I shall slip away into darkness. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this game is hardcore. I shall slink away. Doctor, just pay attention. <laughs> I hope today is the day I find it. Surprising all of you, Damien steps up first. Well, damn. It is my great honor to compete for your hand. I have traveled far to see you, and I must say the stories do not do you justice. <laughs> I had no idea he had this in him. Oh, Damien. Oh, gee. Well, if there's a game, Damien's gonna make sure he wins it. He goes all out to see that. Damien goes into a lengthy story about how he defeated a dragon, gesticulating wildly and amping up the crowd as he does so. They roar in applause when he finishes. Yay! That's no match for my card trick. Shut up, fail. <laughs> Shut up, fail. That's his real name, fail. <laughs> It's spelled P H A. Yeah, we know, we know. Okay, let the lady talk. All right. That was lovely. Thank you. A riveting tale. Okay, I'm next. Step aside, everyone. Step aside. Hayden runs along the stands, waving her arms at the crowd. Let's make some noise. Who's excited to be here? Woo! <laughs> My name is Hayden, and I'm here to win the heart of a royal! Woo! <laughs> Hayden executes a quick backflip and lands expertly, striking a pose. The crowd roars. Woo! I can flip as well. Why didn't you flip then, dude? Here we go. One, two... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Okay, that's enough of fail. <laughs> ah, very impressive. Thank you, Hayden, was it? Hayden. Yes. Oh, okay. Slow in your turn. I think I'm going to try to joust in my dress. This will, of course, work. Well, how could this go wrong? It's impossible. <laughs> uh, are you sure that's a good idea? This is all simulated, so I can't get hurt. Besides, jousting is just simple physics. Sloane swings up onto the horse that she's never ridden in her life and then lines up with her opponent. She charges forward, leveling a lance out ahead of her. It's all fake, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Go, Sloane! Sloane expertly knocks the other rider off his horse with a well-placed jab. She circles around and nods at Shay. <whistles> Shay claps, but you notice she's giving you the golf clap, and that's not good. Doesn't look like you won Shay's heart, Sloane. 
I guess it's up to you, hot dude. Miss Shea has been looking for something genuine. You walk up to the barrier and jump clean over it. Shea raises an eyebrow as you sit in the seat next to her. Hey, I'm hot dude. I should, uh... No, that's not really genuine about me. Funny? Yeah, that might be. Yeah, sing a song. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You break into a tender rendition of Can't Help Falling in Love. The crowd quiets to listen. When you finish, Shay's eyes shine softly in the light. Okay, you were a little pitchy, but you know. <laughs> you funny. Whoa. I don't know, Damien. Now I'm kind of back into hot dude again. <sighs> yeah, pretty sure all the singing genes skipped Nadia and went straight to hot dude in the park family tree. That was a touching display of vulnerability. Thank you, hot dude. Recognition suddenly washes over Shay's face. With quick movements, she takes your hand. It's you, isn't it? You're the one I've been looking for. The voice acting's a little weird on this one. I I know. See what what happened? Okay, so like uh, the boss, the owner of the company, you know, um, he has this niece. You know, her mother's black, really, really pushy. So, you know, this is her voice. You know, that's what he's using for the, you know. I'm surprised that they like, like they actually put that in the script of the of the game, like just in case somebody asks about that. Yeah. Like, that must be how many test subjects ask that question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have much time before we get pulled into another loop. I can feel it. Quickly, you must remember true love can only be found in grape depths, like a deep blue pool of water. The supple navy of the evening. No, oh, that's that's like that that's hard to decipher. I don't know what to do with that. Blue. The blue and the navy, like I don't get it. I, I don't get it at all. Okay. <laughs> that actually went with hot dude. Find me in the next timeline, my love. The tourney fades away, and you find yourself in the middle of an ancient temple. Shay is trapped in a cell on the far wall. You came! We don't have much time. There's something here that is vital for our chance at the future together. There's an artifact outside this temple beneath the waves that will break the time travel curse once and for all. You must find it. Ooh, exciting! Damien strides out of the ruins with purpose. Hayden and Sloan are hot on his heels. Remember what I told you, hot dude. After leaving the temple, you join the others on the beach. Damien pumps himself up on the edge of the water and goes to take his shirt off. Damien, it's, it's, it's virtual reality. Come on. Go on, Damien. <laughs> you know you don't actually have to take your clothes off, right? I don't know why I'm protesting this. <laughs> I mean, it's virtual reality, but just don't listen to me. Go ahead, take your shirt off. Hayden snorts, and Damien narrows his eyes at her before wrestling with his shirt again. Yeah, baby. His limbs seem to stutter and move in the wrong directions as he fusses with the mechanics in the game until finally... I stand corrected. Nah, I'll swim faster without it. Yes, you will. He dives into Ooh. the waves, disappearing into the water. <laughs> Hayden takes one look at the water and then grins at you and Sloan before running straight into the waves, belly flopping into them. Woohoo! I don't care about the game anymore! It feels so real. This is awesome! They're both wasting their time. A good game designer would put the prize in the most obvious place in the landscape. In this case, it has to be a cave. You go check it out, hot dude. I'll stay on shore and make sure nothing surprises us. 
Aye, aye, Captain. I don't know who made her Captain, but all right. You dive into the water, feeling the waves unfurl over your body. You swim to the cave opening and then dive down into its mouth. Deep on the water, you spot three crystals lying at the bottom of the cave. I wonder which one you're supposed to pick. I do. Oh, why? <laughs> the blue one. Yeah. What happens if you pick the wrong one? I don't know. <laughs> you take the crystal, and it glows warm in your hand. You swim out of the cave. You reach the shore to find Damien, who somehow managed to get a shirt back on, and Hayden standing with Sloane. You hold out the crystal. I think I got it. You did it. You did? The crystal glows brightly in your hand. The music change and the glowing are probably the game's way of telling us we chose correctly. Score, dude. Let's go get Shay. As you return to Shay, the crystal in your hand pulses and the bars of her cell vanish. You did it! I don't know what it is. It's the, it's the only accent that is so anticlimactic. I don't know what... <laughs> Shay rushes toward you and folds your fingers over the crystal. Keep this close. With it, we can truly be together. We can use this to undo the rip in time and stop the curse. I'm sorry, people. I am not as well trained in acting as Olive, and I just do not have that many accents. I'm very, very sorry. You feel a force pulling on your body, pulling you away from Shay. Time warps around you, and the world fades. W w wait. You suddenly come to stand in a high-tech lab where Shay is hooked up to a glowing machine. What's happening? This is the portal that started it all, the curse. The tear in reality that began our endless fate of chasing each other through time. You found the key to undoing it once and for all, but there is a price. What kind of price? Using the crystal will set us free from the curse and close the portal, but it will also separate us in the space-time continuum. There's a risk we may never find each other again. That's an odd interpretation of Einstein's theory of relativity. I'm going to tell Khan you said that. Don't you dare! <laughs> If we don't use the crystal, we'll continue in the time loops indefinitely. But at least there will be a guarantee we will see each other again. It's your decision, hot dude. Shay. Hmm. Yeah. I would rather you be free, even if it means we might not see each other again. You place the crystal in a small compartment on the side of the portal. Shay reaches out and touches your face. Thank you, hot dude. Our hearts will always be together. Goodbye, my love. So touching. Shay's image slowly dissolves and the light of the portal goes dark. You turn back to the others when everything around you goes white. Shay stands before you in the nothingness, laughing warmly. Well, Shay, but, but I thought... The universe must have been testing us, testing our love, and we passed. Okay. We're finally free. We can live out our lives in any time we wish now, and it will be how it always should have been. Let us live boldly, my love, together. A message flashes in front of your eyes. Congratulations! You've completed the double for Everlast! Returning you to the main menu. Wow. 
I really thought I was going to win. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> but I'm the hot dude. Yeah, you are the hot dude. That's what it is, you see. I was a little jealous of Shay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just, I was. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to never talking about it again. Aw, we can talk about you without your shirt, Dean. Nope, nope, that's not happening. I still can't believe the quality of the graphics. The fidelity of the assets is breathtaking. I could stay in here forever with Damien. Run away. <laughs> While I'm sure that's true, we really should get moving. <laughs> the others start to take off their headsets to log out. This is your chance to spend a little extra time with your love interest in virtual reality. Only to win T5,000 diamonds. <laughs> no, yeah, no I... diamonds, no diamonds. Okay, good. <laughs> the others log off, and you and Hayden are left among the stars. I still get, can't get, oh, I still can't get over how touching that was. You really got to, didn't it? What can I say? I'm a sucker for lovers against all odds stories. Hot dude, what would you do if it was me that was trapped in the same crazy time loop? Isn't fighting the curse setting you free? I don't know what the difference is. Um, all I ever wanted is for you to be happy. Aww. If I had the opportunity to help you find peace, even if it meant having to be apart, I'd do it. Aww. I appreciate that, but I'm glad you'll never have to make that decision. Nope. Oh. Never, ever. Oh, no. I will never have to make that decision in my entire life oh, of whether or not no. I have to let you go. No! Why would that be any kind of dramatic situation at all? Oh, no. Of the choices. All right. <laughs> Thanks, hot dude. I know it's a silly question, but I had to know. Such a silly question. So silly. What could go wrong? <laughs> Hayden threads her fingers through yours. <laughs> you pull Hayden close and attempt to kiss her. This way. Your VR goggles smack against each other, and you both laugh before repositioning. Take two? You tilt your head and manage to kiss her, saving the softness of her lips. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Aww. Foreshadowing! All right. Yeah. You smile at each other and then take your headsets off in tandem. This is nice writing, though. I will give it that. Hey, it's cute. As you thank the VR booth attendants, you hear the swell of applause and turn your head toward the stage. Mindy walks out onto the stage with a microphone in hand. All right, here we go. Yeah, we should try to go up close. You all start to move toward the crowd when Damien suddenly stops short. Sloan, wait. I'm worried that your association with Eros will make Khan suspicious of us. Oh, I didn't think that. I mean, we rarely cross paths since he was ranked so high up. Can't I at least say hi? I've thought about this day a lot, and I really want him to know how much of an inspiration he is. Well, why would it be suspicious if we're around? I mean, if... I, we, he, they don't have to know that he's... He, he doesn't have to know that, like, Sloan is part of the magazine. In any way, the magazine could just be, like, some side go. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. She could just be hanging out. Yeah. Let's see what happens. For sure. Are you 100% sure he won't recognize you? I guess, it, I seriously, I just don't think it matters. Like... Hey, that's that person I saw years ago in some building, and now she's here. Like, what, what's the deal? Let's see what happens. Noticing Sloane's expression, Hayden quickly adds. I mean, you're hard to forget, and you did contribute a big chunk of our programming. Maybe your profiles caught his eye. I know how much he means to you, Sloane. I, I wouldn't bring this up if I didn't think it was important. Yeah, I 
guess. But then again, can I also point out that she's not wearing her glasses and she probably has the nicest dress she's ever worn. That's that's that's, that's a true statement. So I think that's a true statement. So may not recognize her. So it's up to you. Yeah, let's just do it. Yes, let's do it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thanks, hot dude. You reach the stage just as Mindy finishes her speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for our brilliant software architect and the man who set Everlast in motion, Brett Devereaux. Hey. Oh my goodness. Yep. That's, I should have expected every single, but what are you trying to do? What's the matter with you? What? What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Even if your MC was uh, gay, like you already have given him like is he just gonna say everybody's hot? He even wanted to say Cecile was hot. And Cecile is evil. <laughs> is that all he does? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I'm just saying. I, I think I've cemented my identity enough, Pixel Perry. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, got a thing for grand entrances. It suits him. Here we go. New voice, yay! Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone who fits neither label, when did dating get so dull? I like this. Huh? Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> you know, you know. Z knows, Z knows over there. The crowd immediately warms to him with a laugh. I like to think that we were all born romantics, but history has completely warped the term into something undesirable, too vulnerable, unrealistic. In this day and age, the potential for a relationship to bloom is decided by a single swipe. One mistake made, a few roadblocks, and people give up. Though its true efficiency and ease have defined us as a generation, I've come to miss tales of grand gestures and epic love affairs. And I hope I'm not the only one. Everlast is a symbol of the lengths humans go through to save the ones they love. A nudge, if you will, to be courageous, honest, imaginative, to love, love itself once again. Now, enjoy the rest of your evening. The complimentary Soylent is chai flavored. My favorite. Ah, see, yeah, the Soylent. No, too yeah. young. Too no, young. No, we get it. Okay. I mean, ha 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 ha. <laughs> the, four, <laughs> the four of you follow Khan to the side of the stage. Khan smiles your way at first, but his eyes immediately hone in on Sloane. Damn it. Do I know you? I feel like I've seen you before. Like, Do you go by the dance studio by Divisadero? Oh, yes. Her dancing is like jam. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a human. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Sloane does a body wave from side to side. David clears his throat and signals her to stop. Hey, what's the best place to take a power nap at R&D Tower 3? The library, of course. Or the cafeteria if it's past nine. Ugh. <sighs> Wait, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Thanks. This was this totally my fault. Totally my fault. I should it's okay, why, why why did I not see this? It's okay. I should have I just it's pictured okay. in my head that this would just go down. Enjoy yourselves tonight, if you'll excuse me. What just what I knew <laughs> what just happened? He asked about Eros's research and development building. Only employees would know that. 
Hey guys, we got a bigger problem. Oh, you mean the totally predictable problem that I totally should have thought would happen? <laughs> yep, there she goes. Yes, yes, yes. You turn to where Hayden's staring and see Cecile raising a glass at you with a triumphant smile. This lady over here. Bitch. I didn't say that at all. Oh, come on. Come we, on. Can, we can call Cecile that. She evil. I don't say nothing. I'm just saying. You say it as much as you want. <laughs> Damien storms across the room. You try to hold him back, but end up dragged into the fray. Smart approaching me in a public setting. I doubt you'll call for a shootout with this many casualties. Is that a challenge? Uh, this one. I right thought here. we killed you. Yeah, you're not supposed to survive that stuff. <laughs> At least you're supposed to get like rebooted. Like it takes like a whole bunch <laughs> of time. Like even if that happens, like. <laughs> Harley saunters over to you with a smirk. She hands Cecile her drink. We didn't come for a fight, Harley. I'll punch her. <laughs> oh, serious hot dude's the sexiest hot dude. Oh, gag, gag, nope. I suppose we should thank you and your friends for leading us straight to Khan. Rowan will be thrilled. His little wonder boy back at last. Where's my taser? Did I not bring my... T I didn't bring my taser to this one it, thing. Didn't you give it to Dames? I sure did. What do you want with him? I'm happy to tell you in exchange for a kiss. D d d dream on. Punter! Punter hot dude! Yeah. Cecile stops the chatter with a commanding wave of her hand. There are guards hiding in plain sight, so don't even bother trying to escape. At least not with Khan. Cecile... Oh, God, you just... Why would anybody think that Cecile looks nice? Just hot dog in the whole Even room. Even if it's like a ploy. It's a bad ploy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. He won't come with you. You're recruiting him as a pawn, but he doesn't want to play. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, I was saving that one. Yeah, that was a really good one. It's adorable that the, you think he has a choice. I don't know. We keep besting you over and over again. Big, powerful company, my ass. Don't worry. He won't say no to this. Harley gestures at her face, then touches your arm flirtatiously. Yeah, right. Come on. Would you? Hell yeah. Hands off, Harley. Get off my man! <laughs> Sloane and Hayden are holding their breaths, hot dude. No, I'm not. I'm telling you to get off my man, Harley. <laughs> we miss having you around, Damien. Come back soon. <laughs> Harley winks at Damien as the two saunter away. You return to your friends whose faces grow pale with worry. You okay? Yeah, we just have to find Khan. We got guards running the place. I see five and counting. There, Khan went to the bathroom, and I've overanalyzed enough action movies to know what he's really doing. <coughs> Sloan, you're coming with me to the back exit. Can you run in heels? Sloan raises her hand, and her wedges dangle on her fingers. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> Hayden and I will intercept from the parking lot. Be careful, you two. We got this. You and Sloan slip into the alleyway just in time to see Khan break into a run. Wait, Khan, wait! Khan knocks over a row of garbage cans to block your path. Uh, shablam. You jump over the garbage cans with a well, with admirable dexterity. That's mm -hmm. good. You're awesome. Yay. Nice. As you start to gain on Khan, a blur of shadow tackles him to the ground. 
Oh my god, Damien. We're trying to help you, goddammit. Are you insane? Get off me! <laughs> Khan pushes Damien off with surprising strength. Momentarily disoriented, Damien scrambles to stand. Hayden grabs Khan's hands and pins them behind his back. Khan's feet lift slightly off the ground from the momentum. Jeez, have you got super strength or something? Ding, 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 jackpot. That's because Hayden's not human, she's a match. This is part of what we're trying to tell you. You again. Liar. Matches can't hurt people unless it's for self-defense purposes or to protect their client. Unless you're her client. Khan glances at Damien. No. Hey, no need to sound so offended. <laughs> Please, Khan, it's only a matter of time before Cecile realizes we're not in the room. Wait, why would we go to all this trouble to hand you over to the bad guys? See, we wouldn't because we're the good guys. <laughs> no, I'm the good guy in this scenario. And that's a classic case of false dichotomy right Ooh. there. For all I know, you're both bad guys. No, I know. Can't we just shove him into the car? My life coach will hunt you down, and she's one scary woman. <laughs> we don't have time for this. You don't understand the kinds of things they'll do to you. They'll use the people you care about, and... Uh... Damien takes a ragged breath, and panic swirls in Khan's eyes. Damien noticed this immediately. If anyone came to mind when I said that, at least hear us out. I'm letting you go now, all right? Hayden releases her steel grip. The silence stretches between you. I'll come with you on one condition. Name it. I drive. Khan shuts the engine off near an abandoned alley in the mission. Muffled by tension in the air, all of you quietly get out of the car. I texted Mindy, said there was a home emergency. I'm sorry we interrupted your big moment. Eh, I got to deliver my speech, so you know, he realizes you aren't on friendly terms and clears his throat. He returns to his gruff demeanor. <clears throat> you, you have ten minutes. After you left Arrows, things took a turn for the worse. They don't treat matches the way you would have. They use them, dispose of them, wipe their memories over and over, mess with their personalities. Which is why we helped Hayden escape. They've been hunting us down for lots of reasons after that. But the most important thing is... We need your help to take down Eros. We have to shut down the company, stop them from building more matches, and rescue the ones they've assembled. You're mad. All of you. You can't take down a company like Eros. Believe it or not, we've been hitting quite a few milestones so far. Unmoved, Khan turns to Hayden with a curious look. You haven't said a word. I don't have much to say to you at the moment. Though I mean that in a literal sense, not as an insult. Khan can't hide his smile of interest as Hayden folds her arms defiantly. Self-preservation is built into your core programming. I know. And still, you're risking your life for this... The suicide mission. Because it's the right thing to do. We're cleaning up a mess you started. So the least you could do is help. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He didn't really start it. Didn't I, like, create you, technically? Yeah. Like, the only reason that any of this is happening at all is because I tried to make something good. Yeah. And these folks... The mess I started, huh? Sorry, man. Sorry. 
And maybe you're right about us not being able to hold a candle to arrows. But at least we're here to give them one hell of a fight. Khan can't hide the plain shock on his face. You're, uh... You're different than what I thought you... How I thought your kind would turn out. I never heard a match speak with such conviction. And such strong opposition toward their intended purpose. Hayden is different. She's self-aware, self-sufficient. She's her own person. Huh. Sloan smiles proudly at Hayden, who continues to stare down Khan. Soon, Khan presses his fingers on his eyelids and shakes his head. I'm going to regret this. But if you're in this deep, I... I assume you've heard of the sirens. Well, the name rings a bell. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the sirens ring a bell? Is that what they do? Is that what they do, Pixelberry? You're not funny. You're not funny, and you're not slick either. God dang it. With your, with your jokes. All right. <laughs> now, you should know two things. One, I quit as soon as they greenlit the project. And two? What I'm about to tell you, you're going to wish you never crossed paths with Eros. Or Rowan West. Can we just kill him? I mean... I mean, we, we slashed his eye. It, I, I mean, I, I'll go to jail, you know, if it means getting rid of this this menace to society. You know? Uh, no you won't, uh, honey. Oh. Uh, what? Damien could, like, really run point on this. I oh, know. you're just gonna throw me out there, huh? Really? I All of a sudden I'm important. I could do it. They'd never suspect Sloan. You'd be the first one they'd suspect, Sloan. Why? Literally, they're the, what they, they, for whatever reason, they've allowed you to be going willy-nilly, haven't tried to kidnap you at all. Which is very weird. But, you know what? Maybe you got a point, but I don't understand that myself. I have an idea. What, what? I build a robot. Yeah. And that robot does. Yeah. That robot does the dirty work. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, Khan, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. We had to dress that one up just a little bit because there wasn't a whole lot to learn. It was just a lot of things that was like some really ham-fisted foreshadowing. Oh, no. Oh, I hope I will never have to make a choice to lose Hayden in a game called Choices. You're not... Like, come on, man. Come on. We see where this is. I don't know where it's going. But we will be going away for a minute, and we shall see you next time. See you next time. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>